Green flag in the air. Dustin Sorensen, a good jump. Now he's going to slide up the racetrack. Kyle Strickler up and over the cushion. Down the back straight away. I don't think the high side tickler is going to love that first corner. Down the back straight away. It'll be Sorensen, your race leader. Taylor going to take a look down to the bottom. In the five car, down the front straight away, though. It'll be Dustin Sorensen, your leader in 19. Sorensen going to push up the hill. Strickler with a move. He's not going to give him any room. Slider for the lead. Kyle Strickler, your new race leader in turn number two. Dustin Sorensen again down around the bottom of the 19th. Strickler going to drop to the bottom. Is he going to hang on to it? He will. Kyle Strickler has taken back the lead in eight. And Dustin Sorensen over the cushion. Justin Allgaier going to race by. Just what Allgaier needed was Sorensen to make a mistake, and he had to get on the brakes for the 25. He got over the cushion. The door was open. Down the back straight away into turn number three. He's got a four and a half second advantage. It's going to be plenty for the high side tickler. Kyle Strickler goes to victory lane in feature number one. Tom and I both weren't going to finish second again tonight. And, uh, uh, yeah, he went way earlier than I thought he was going to go in that initial start, and then I don't think he thought I was out there. And I got a really good run through one and two and was outside alongside of him there. And he was spinning in the slick and was trying to get to the uh, to the cushion and then didn't know I was out there and run me over the top. It wasn't nothing dirty on his part. He didn't know I was out there. So uh, I knew that that, uh, that restart was my chance. And um, he pushed the nose a little bit in, in one and two. And I was able to, to get rolling and get up there in front of him. And, and once we got out in clean air, I thought we were pretty good. But uh, the tires here are just weird. They seem like they're way different than uh, in previous years. and. Um, I would never ever run that tire, the, the softer tire, in in, uh, in a feature, but uh, it seemed to work out tonight. So we'll see how uh, how it goes the rest of the week. I just can't thank everybody enough. They've been busting their butts there. Great flag in the air. Thomas with a good start in the 97. He'll take the race lead from David Strummy. Strummy now to the second spot. Good battle behind him. Here comes the 11. Here comes the 90 as well. Tom Berry Jr. on the bottom. Jason Bolio right there. Mitch Thomas trying to run away and hide a bit here in that 97 car. TBJ going to move bottom of the runner on spot 11. Mitch Thomas is going to have to deal with the back of the field here in a moment. There's three cars right in front of him. They are all battling for position. He got over the cushion. Thomas over the cushion. Strummy going to sneak by. Here goes Barry as well. Boy, a mistake by Mitch Thomas. He was eyeing up the back of the field, and he just misjudged turn four. Side by side of the race lead. David Strummy made that thing as wide as he could. Tom Berry Jr. getting around the bottom. Good battle for the race lead between Team Lethal teammates. Five to go this time by when they come by the start finish line here. The LNX of Barry, 35 of Strummy. Tom Berry Jr. can breathe for a moment. In the turn three, your second dirt car UMP modified feature of the night goes to TBJ. Tom Berry Jr. wins an 11 X. Got a little bit more maneuverable. We were, we were really tight last night, which kind of hurt us in the long run. And uh, different tire choice, I think, was some of it. And uh, just letting the car come to me. And I uh, last night, I was having troubles with the carburetor loading up on the restart. So I learned how to get clear of that. David told me how to do that. So that helped. And just everything lined out. I was hoping I'd take the lead right before we got that caution. I was in the lead. But um, it definitely made me work for it and probably put on a good show for you fans. And uh, just happy to finally get a Gator and come down to Volusia. Green flag out, dirt car modified feature number three of the night. It'll be Mefford down the back straight away in that 13 car. Ryan Shaw going to work his inside now with a one car battle for the race lead, battle for third as well. Teammates, Tim Ward heads up. Ryan Shaw's going to spin in front of the field. Look out, Kenny Wallace. Everybody on the brakes. Heads up, heads up in turn number four. Back to green we go. Mefford a really good restart that time in the 13 car. He's going to drive off pretty easily here in the 13. Matt Crafton going to roll to the inside of Brian Shaw's one car. Crafton now to the runner-up spot in the 88. Brian Shaw get over the cushion. Man, he almost got turned around for the second time. Good job of saving it. Here comes Kenny Wallace. Wallace taking a look to the inside of the 88. Wallace in 36. Crafton in 88. Good battle here for the runner-up spot. And there goes Kenny. Charlie Mefford in 13, started inside of the front row and has led every single lap. Working our way to the checkered feature winner number three of the night, Charging Charlie Mefford in 13. Yeah, especially down here, you know, on these bigger racetracks. Uh, you know, on dirt, you don't think of nothing about aerodynamics, but um, dirty air is just is killer. Heck, I got air, dirty air real bad last night. I got in lap traffic tonight. 
you know, starting on the pole, you know, it's, it's a game changer. You know, once you get out front and leave a few laps, most of the time it's, it's over. Back to green we go again. It'll be nicely. Tyler nicely trying to go back to back. He got one last night. He won his eighth gator last night. Trying to go for nine tonight. He will jump up front of the 25. We've got a couple cars making some contact there off turn number four. We'll stay green nicely again. Back to the lead. Turner now going to work to the outside of Leach. Side by side of the third spot. Michael Turner in 27. Michael Leach in 09. Good side-by-side -side battle for the third spot. Fifth is Newspot. Dylan Newspot just stole fifth from Brian Ruhlman here. Nicely in 25. Turner to the outside. Boy, Michael Turner's found something up there in that 27. Michael Turner now to the runner-up spot here. Keep an eye on that 27 car. He's going to clear George Dixon to second. I don't know if he's got anything for Tyler Nicely, but he's sure going to give it a shot. Checkered flag about to come out. This time by off turn number four, Owensboro, Kentucky's Tyler Nicely wins it in 25. Our race car is balanced. Uh, you know, last night I struggled a little bit uh, being tight there at the end, and uh, tonight was really good. Uh, so uh, feels good to get in victory lane. Uh, congrats to Charlie. You know, he's one of my good buddies from around home. So cool to see him get a Gator and uh, just glad to be here. Green flag out quickly. Kenny Schrader to the lead. Ray Bollinger going to take a look to the inside. They were three wide for the lead. Down the back straight away. It'll be three wide. Still now four wide. A real crump down to the bottom as well. Man, good drive down to the bottom. Bollinger was in there. Crump's going to take it. Schrader's going to slam the door here on lap number one. Is he going to lead the opening lap? He will. Kenny Schrader, early race leader here in the nine car. Lee Schrader, Crump, Bollinger, one, two, three. Ray Bollinger, good drive on the start. Can he sneak to the outside of Will Crump? Take that spot away. Boy, Ray might have found something. He's alongside of Crump down the back straight away. They're going to run side by side with a runner up spot. Crump a little bit better entering turn number three in the bottom. 77 car trying to hold it down there. He drifted there just a bit. Will Crump took that spot back away in the K9. Bollinger was able to have an equally good start. Crump, though, glued to the tires. Here comes Bollinger. Ray Bollinger got to that second spot. There goes Zeke McKenzie. McKenzie's going to move to the inside now. Bollinger was able to get to the bottom in the 77. Bollinger to second. McKenzie to third. Five to go. Down the back straight away. Wire to wire. Started on the pole. Led lap one. He led all the way to lap 20. Kenny Schrader wins it in nine. Uh, we, you know, we... We qualified good, so we got started up front, and uh, you know the, the guys just had the car right. But I, I got so many guys got to thank, and the guys with us, uh, Joey and Soup and Eric and uh, Mark and Tom Finney. But uh, really, got to thank David and Ashley uh, Strummy from well, from Lethal because they just. They got the old car, it just works. Green flag in the air. We are underway with a final feature of the night. Mike McKinney and Trevor Neville, a little bit of a ragged start right there. McKinney will jump to the race lead from the inside of the front row. As Mike McKinney said earlier after qualifying tonight, shaking down a new race car last night, trying to get it up to speed tonight. He will lead the opening lap here in the 96. Oh, and your race leader's off the pace. Mike McKinney up in some type of smoke. Saw a little bit of puff of smoke out of the 96, and out he goes. Green flag back out. McClure in the 12 car slide to a almost halt to get back on the gas. Austin Self going to move by to the runner-up spot here in the 23. Austin Self now to the second spot here. We're off turn number four, your final feature winner of the night, Lucas Lee in 12. I just had to ride in the rubber. It was rubbered up. All them sprint cars got to hot lap. And uh, it was just rubbered up out there. I hate it for Mike. Mike's, Mike's a good guy. He's a good kid, and uh, uh, he's fun to race with. And uh, I don't know. I just, uh, he had to hit the rubber. That's all he really had to do, and he'd just make a circle.